Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Insurance Education. My name is Raymond McMillan. Today is day four of seven, and I have a very interesting video for you today, but I would need to take you back to 1945 and prior. I'm talking about the Moto Insurance Bureau. It's a UK body which was incorporated in 1985, sorry, 1945. Why was it necessary? Well, prior to that, we had what is called the Road Traffic Act. And that act came into being because of a public outcry prior to 1945. Remember, I I'm not sure if you can imagine an era where there were no vehicles. And when the vehicles started to come into being, some courts referred to it with all the injury which were happening to individuals without any compensation as that new weapon. The government had to step in. And the government says from then, I think it was in the 1913, 1930s, up to that period, they created the first Road Traffic Act. And it says no one should use a public road or be in charge of someone using a public road without the third party liability in place to provide compensation for injury to body or person or property of individuals using the road legally as ordinary taxpayers. What was happening then is that uh, you would have a husband and wife, the wife at the door with the kids, kiss the husband goodbye, nice lunch bag and his brief on his way to work on the pavement. And someone maybe who had a little too much to drink would leave the pavement, go on the, leave the road, go on the pavement and kill the, or injure this husband, the only breadwinner of the family and nothing, nothing for the family members because that person may be a man of straw. The government says no. Let's ensure there is a minimum amount of compensation available to individuals. Right now in the UK, it's unlimited cover for bodily injury and or death and £1.2 million for property. Different territories would have limits and there are some territories who do not even have a road traffic act. But what was happening is if there's a hit and run situation where you were knocked down, the driver didn't stop and we don't know who caused the injury or death to that individual, which insurance company would you go to for compensation? Again, the person may stop, see, another driver may stop and apologize and say, but I'm sorry, I, I really didn't have insurance. I was just taking a chance. So you have two situations, one where it's a hit and run and one where the person says, sorry, but there is no insurance. Who would you go to? Isn't that laughing in the face of the law, which was just passed? In 1945, the government said, let's do something, this is the UK government, and put in place the Motor Insurance Bureau, which would provide compensation for hit and run incidents or uninsured. So you, it's termed unnamed or uninsured drivers. Compensation is guaranteed to any victim using the public road. Even the definition of road is defined in the act. And if a private road to which the members of the public have access to, that's deemed a public road. All of that is covered in the act, but the video today is only to highlight two things. Hit and run, accidents, you, you can't get compensation, or someone who, breach, who doesn't even have an insurance policy in place. You can go to the, in, the Motor Insurance Bureau, they will provide compensation to you, and they will take the matter up to see if they can recover Come recover from the negligent parties if they can. If not, you are not penalized, you are not without cover. Can you think of someone who may have suffered? From my class, I have heard of a pregnant woman who was killed in one territory and nothing to get because that territory doesn't have something like the Moto Insurance Bureau. If you're doing the CI exams in the UK, that is an exam question. That's one more point for you in your exam. I trust this was helpful. If you like this video, may I invite you to just click the like button. And we always ask you to subscribe to our 
channel. We are aiming to get a thousand subscribers. I'm not hiding it from you. We are on three, six, almost 370. And in my own humble opinion, if each one of my subscribers just invite a friend who can benefit from these videos, we're up to 700 and then we can all together look for a few more. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks in advance for your support. I have an interesting video for you tomorrow and I'm looking forward to day five of seven.